We're going to measure the noise and ripple on my new uh, Eventech power supply. And I'm going to do it on my, I have a Singlet uh, 1202 XE uh, oscilloscope. Now these are the probes that come with them. This, uh, this grounding uh, wire here, it, uh, it's going to act like an antenna and can pick up uh, some noise from, uh, you know, not generated by the, the power supply. So we're going to eliminate that. This pop right out. And this uh, clip comes off the front. And now they have a, uh, with the probes, they give you this little uh, BNC adapter. It fits right on the end of the probe. And it goes into a BNC connector. Now, I have a BNC to banana jack, a dual banana jack plug. But on this particular uh, power supply, the, the uh, banana plugs are too far apart, so it won't fit. So I made up this little unit. These actually go on the inside of the BNC. It's got a coax co cable here and then a, and a couple uh, uh, banana plugs here. I'm going to plug that in. Now, I'm going to test it under load. And I'm just going to use uh, 5 volts at... Uh, uh, half an amp so this is a, uh, a 10 ohm resistor it's 5 watts so um, now this is a piece of uh, uh, glass it's a fiberglass mat for heat if you this thing's going to get uh, hot especially if I've cranked it up to uh, you know 10 volts or so it would uh, it would melt uh, something on my desk here so this is a glass mat that I'm running it on keep the heat away from everything so I'm going to change the camera angle, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll give it a try. These notes, I'll put those on in the description. All right, here we are at the scope. Now to set up the scope, you want to press the uh, uh, channel one button there, and it's on DC coupling over here. So I'm going to uh, push the soft key, and then you turn this knob up here to get to AC. So we're going to go to uh, a couple of AC coupling. Now this uh, uh, band uh, width limit, it's at full right now, so I'm going to change that to uh, 20 uh, megahertz right there. And then I want to take the, uh, I want to use peak detect mode. Now, uh, so to do that you press acquire, and it says acquisition mode over here, so we're going to hit the soft key there, and we're going to run down to peak detect mode right there. So now we're at peak detect mode. Now, the um, the acquisition uh, modes are used. Uh, they use algorithms to vary the sample rate of, of the ADD converter because it's a digital scope, and uh, it'll select the uh, the points to plot. So peak to peak chooses the highest and lowest points to to plot this uh, graph here. So we're going to try that. There we go. That's what it's looking like. Like now, let's put. Uh, uh, I have about that's 300. This the this sine wave you see back there. That's the ripple, and it's about uh, 300 kilohertz. And this noise you see on the outside, that's noise. Everything else is noise in there. So we'll use, we'll try to measure it here. Yeah, we'll measure it. There we go. So we can move that down a little bit so we can see both things there. This is just the AC part of the, I'm not putting any DC on here at all. And um, I don't know if you can see it up here, but the uh, RMS value here is uh, 12. Uh, now, in the uh, data sheet, they said it was at uh, uh, 20 millivolts. So, in fact, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop it here somewhere. All right. You can see it right there. So, um, it's uh, 315 megahertz. This is the, the ripple, and peak to peak is uh, well. The RMS value is uh, is 12.59, which is uh, below what they, the specs were. So that's pretty good. They don't gonna they don't tell you peak to peak because uh, they don't want you to know that that's uh, 70 millivolts peak to peak. So, but uh, they give you the RMS value, and it's uh, it's about 13 uh, millivolts for the RMS. So. 
you know, it's 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 within specs of the the unit. Um, I think next week I'm going to try to make a filter, and uh, maybe we can we can get some of this uh, this ripple out of here. But uh, that's how you check for uh, noise and uh, ripple on the uh, oscilloscope. Just put it in uh, AC coupling. The bandwidth limit. Uh, that's how they normally test them with a 20 megahertz. So uh, I put it in 20, and then you can use peak to peak mode on there to make sure you're catching the uh, the peaks. So uh, that's it. Thank you.